Okay, so we're going to make a ID tool that is a static collet held tool for, you know, a drill or whatever to work at the ID. So this is not a rotating tool. It is uh, just a static tool and it has two collet mounted tool positions, one facing toward the main and one facing toward the sub. So looking at this, um, what I want is to first do the orientation and uh, what I want is my Z vector pointing up into my turret and my X pointing toward the main. So looking at this, if this was um, the, the UVW in there was the orientation I need, I need this to rotate basically 180 about X. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do a uh, control A on the keyboard or right click and say select all. Then right click again and say copy. And we're going to do a rotate command. We're going to move and uncheck the origin and put 180 and I'm going to pick that line. And that rotates my holder so that it is correct. So this is the face that would ultimately be flush up against the turret face. And that's going to have this going up into the turret. Now the red, this is the tool pain, uh, pointed toward the main and this is the tool pointed toward the sub. So with the serrations on that side, uh, we're gonna go ahead and create our tool positions. So, um, I'm not sure if anybody would ever put an ID boring bar in a collet, but um, we can uh, go ahead and put the tool position in for the drill, or if somebody decides to put a small boring bar or something in there, uh, we can get it in there So with the right orientation. So I'm going to want the Z pointing in to the holder and my X pointing up. So if I did have a boring bar, my insert would be pointing up toward the turret. So if this came down and came into an ID bore or a hole, uh, that insert would be machining at basically like the, uh, the, pos uh, the um, you know, we would be machining above center line, I guess, would be a best way to say it. So I'm gonna come in here and just uh, say rotate UVW. So all I need to do is rotate around Y, negative 90. So I'm going to say 0, enter, minus 90, enter, 0, enter. That rotates everything. Oh, sorry, I'm using, a, I keep forgetting. I'm using a quick axis icon. So here it's home and come here and you can use rotate UVW right here. Um, or, you know, like, I, like you noticed, you can right click on any of these icons. And since I already have it added, but you can right click and add to quick axis toolbar and then it's always here. So all these common items that I'm using all the time inside of Esprit, I just, I just put them up here. So, uh, okay, so where was I? Oh yeah, we oriented the UVW and now I'm gonna do a translate. I'll use my regular icon for that. So I'll pick translate and then I'll, I'll do the highlight where you know, the, it grabs the center with the face highlighted right there. And I'm going to come here and just say tool adapter position number one. You could do TA underscore main if you want. And then I'll do an HA holder adapter underscore one. And that's in case if somebody had some custom holder for a drill or, like I said, a boring bar or something, they can go ahead and use that. So we've got a TA and an HA there. And then I'm just going to rotate a little bit. And, uh, well, let's use the quick access. So I'm going to use my translate here, which is the same as that icon. I'm going to pick over here. So you could pick it here if you wanted to. And now I need to rotate above my U, or about my U. I'll do rotate and do 180 and 0, 0. And you can see now that my Z is pointing in toward the holder, like I want my tool to come out. And then if I had an insert and not a drill, it would be pointed or it would be on the uh, uh, above the center line portion. So at this point now, um, I need to just save this out like I did before. I'm going to come here TA underscore two and do HA underscore two. 
And at this point, you can save out your holder. You can come to File, Save As, and come over here and say Holder GDML, Holder File. I'm hitting Cancel because I want to change some of these colors. So you're done. These don't move. Everything's good. We've got our uh, tool positions. Now I'm going to, just for simulation purposes, uh, I want this to look a little bit nicer instead of using orange and green and this green blue or lime colored. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do a right click, select all, come to properties, which is under home, show hide properties or all to enter on your keyboard. I'm going to come here and just say uh, light gray and then I'm going to zoom in on the logo and I want to point out that the logo has a bunch of these little uh, edges on there <clears throat> uh, right here this edge and this edge and they're all around on this logo so what I'm going to do is down at the bottom you can at the bottom right here it's I don't know if you can see my mouse right here under propagation I want to make sure that for edges I have opposite edge selected and then holding shift on the keyboard I can pick any of these edges and it will grab you could see uh, the ribbon of material there and then holding control on your keyboard I can pick that top face and add it to the group right click copy come down to my color pick blue say OK and click elsewhere and let's go back to a shaded view so we can see that so we've got our logo on there everything looks uniform and you know you could do some other things so I'm gonna hit F4 on my keyboard which is kinda of lathe view here and what I can do on these collet nuts is maybe zoom in on them and just grab that back chamfer or you can grab like this and include this one and just hold control and remove it so you've got that bag face um, again F4 and then on the bottom I'm gonna hold control and show a different technique if you click from top or I should say if you click from the left to the right that adds anything inside of that's touching the box if I click from the right going to the left so here I'm holding control on my keyboard you see it only adds what's totally in the box so here this ring was not included because I was in the middle of that. I didn't include the entire face. So there's two different techniques that you can use to um, select stuff if you want. Um, anyway, so we've selected those and maybe come here and say copy and uh, maybe pick a slightly deeper shade of gray or something. So anyway, uh, it's good enough. Looks good, so I'm gonna come here now. I've got my tool position saved. I'm gonna come in, File, Save As, come down to Holder GDML. I'm gonna put some nomenclature in here. I'm gonna say ID, call it, uh, main, sub, MS, okay. And now we can use this in Esprit simulation.